All right, all right. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Bahara Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. It's the brother Yahweh coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So, Lord willing, that this video be edifying. 2022, the year turning up, and that's right, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shah is turning up. All right, more so than ever, in the special needs time. All right, especially these times. And I want to go into a quick testimony of what happened uh, at the plantation as I was talking to some Jakes, okay? And uh, and Jake was talking about the situation that happened here in my hometown with this guy that we all know, he uh, committed suicide, all right? He committed suicide and... Uh, he basically blew his brains out, man, last night to be exact. And we came to work and these guys were talking about it. And it was, you know, as we was uh, getting ready to go on the floor, you know, we basically was talking amongst each other, talking amongst men and uh, a bunch of Jakes, Judites to be particular, to be exact. And, uh, you know, it was basically like a, like a uh, uh, spiritual speaking. But Jake was going into how, you know, you never knew how what people going, what, what people have going on. They might look like they're okay, but, you know, they be going through things, you know, mentally. And uh, and Jake was just basically, you know, speaking as, you know, Satan, like Satan, Satan working. You know, you can't let Satan, you know, take over your mind, you know, especially when you're vulnerable, you're weak. That's when Satan started to attack you, you know, just basically speaking, you know, in the scriptures, speaking spiritually, you know, speaking spiritually. And uh, one particular Jake, he was, um, he was, um, he was saying that, you know, Satan, um, Satan gets you when you're weak, you know, and I, I quoted a couple of scriptures, you know, I was, I was telling those that uh you gotta be uh sober you know because satan he he's coming to devour seeking who he may devour you know so you have to have a strong mind and one particular jake you know as i was talking about you know saying but well, the scriptures say this the scriptures say that and as i was walking on the floor and jake called me over he was like hey man i see that he was like i see you know you know a lot about that bible i was like yeah man i studied the bible you know what i'm saying you know, I was telling him, you know, I, I studied the Bible, you know, he was like, I can tell, he was like, I can tell. Then he was inquiring, you know, what do I know? And I was letting him know, you know, that how we, Hebrew Israelites, we Israelites, he, he knew about the Israelites, you know. But overall of the story, you know, Jake was speaking about how Satan attacked me, you know, and Satan, you know, he gets you when you're weak at the lowest point. And, uh, you know, I quoted the scripture, you know, how uh, Satan, you know, he attacked, uh, you have to be sober minded, you know, and, uh, you know, Jake was just speaking, you know, spiritual, but overall, Jake, they didn't know, you know, what's really going on, you know, because one Jake, he had, he had said that Christian doctrine, how Satan, you know, got cast out of heaven. You know, he's a fallen angel. You know, that 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 Christian doctrine, that Christianity doctrine. But overall, man, that's Jake. You know, they have a zeal. You know, our people have a zeal of the most high, but not according to the wisdom not to understand it. And that's why you see Romans the tenth chapter in the first verse reads, Brother in my heart desire and prayer to it to to the most high for Israel that they might be saved. That's right, man. See, we want our people to be saved. That's why we go out day in and day out, week in and week out, and push this truth. Because why we want our people to return back to the Lord, man, before it's too late. But we know, according to biblical prophecy, that two-thirds of our people, they're going to be blinded to the fact of the truth. And the Lord's going to have them cut off and die on this side. But it says, for our better than record, that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. And that's a lot of our people. You know, Jake was speaking... Jake might quote a scripture or two, you know, but overall, they don't understand the truth. And one Jake, 
particular, he said, you know, he was like, we, we God chosen people. And I was like, that's right, man. We're the Israelites. Yeah, we God chosen people. You know? But it's a more Jake have to learn because if Jake was unlearned, because they learn from their oppressor. You know, they learn after the ways of the heathen, which is Christianity, you know, this false doctrine. You know? But, you know, that's why we got to go out here and push this word cold heart because a lot of our people they don't know man that's why we have to be diligent you know we have to be walking in the wisdom and knowledge to understand it so jake see that you know and they cleave on to the lord man because ultimately that's the lord putting the spirit on us that's the lord working through us you know and we always have to walk in the spirit like the scripture says let me grab this real quick this is uh Colossians 4 and verse 5. It says, walk in wisdom towards them that are without. Redeeming the time. That's right, man. We have to walk in wisdom towards them that are without. And that's uh, our people. You know? They're without the wisdom not to understand that the Holy Scriptures. But when they see us, you know, uh, quoting certain scriptures or, you know, reference everything back to the scriptures, Jake see that, that light. Jake see that wisdom not to understand it from the how about Shema Shah. And I was telling them, you know, the true name of the Lord. You know, just 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 speaking, you know, not too much, but you know, giving Jake an idea. You know, setting that mark in Jake's head. You know, and he was like, Yeah, man, I I I, I, I wanna learn. You know, I was I was telling him like, Yeah, man, you gotta learn this, because this is what is gonna keep you stable. You know? He was like, Yeah, man, it's damn right. You know? But overall, man, you gotta always constantly be walking in the spirit you know you got to be you got to be wise wise as a serpent harmless as a dove you know you got to be wise you know you can't be an israelite 24 7 especially at your job man you know but overall you have to be wise you know you have to be wise and jake see that and that's ultimately see the most high because if not that Jake, when it came up to me and said, hey, man, I see that you know some, you know, you you know that Bible. That's not me, man. That's the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shah. And Jake see that. Because why? We have to walk in his wisdom now to understand it amongst our people. You know, letting our people know the correct way. But you have to be wise as doing it. Because you got a lot of uh, Jakes, you know, that are niggas, man. You know, that are niggas. Like the scriptures say, don't cast your pearls to the swine you know so you have to be wise walking amongst these 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 israelites man among, amongst our people all right and what the scripture says that we are the light of the hill that cannot be hid this is uh matthew 5 verse 14 you are the light of the world a city that is set on high and cannot be hid neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but under a candlestick and give light unto all they all that are in the house. Let your light shine before men. That's what they seen upon me. He's seen the light of your high by Shalom Shah. That they may see your good works and your glory, your father, which is in heaven. That's right, man. That the Lord might have it where that set a mark in his head and he wanna require more and more. You know, he and Lord willing, he comes to the truth. And I don't rock his eye, he be saved. Well it's me, man. I'll be saved. You know, because that's what we're striving to be, saved. You know, but we have to let our light shine, man. See, Jake's starting to see the light of Yahweh by Shema al Shah. So it's a great awakening uh, uh, amongst the nation of Israel. Okay? Jake waking up to the fact that Esau is the devil, you know, and that we're God's chosen people. So you're going to have more Jake's requiring, more Jake's coming up to you, asking questions, because they want to know, man. But overall, you know, our people got a zeal. Our people got a zeal, but not according to the scriptures, man. Not according to the most high. You know? But like I said, in these latter days, you can have Jake, whether it be on your job, whether it be when you're out in the world. You can have Jake want to know, man. They're going to be saying spiritual things that, you know, attain to the truth. You know? Then once you break it, you tell them. They're going to be like, yeah, okay, man, you know something. And they're going to be wanting to know, require more and more. And ultimate Jake is going to wake up, you know, majority, or a lot of our people are going to wake up in these latter days, all right? So just a quick little testimony, you know, as I was on the plantation, 
I don't want to rock this off. You know, it's less than edifying, comforting, and exhorting, man. And our people are waking up. Best believe our people are waking up, man. But only the elect is going to obtain what they're seeking for, and the rest is going to be blind. All right? And so with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Baal Shem, Yahweh Shah. Baal Shem, Yahweh Kakadosh. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the millstone. Keep striving, brothers, keep pushing. We got Messiah here. Shalom, a Bible ball.